Today, with the corona crisis, companies are facing new challenges of how to use their workspace. Working from home has for many of us become mandatory and we might ask ourselves, do we still need an office as a physical workspace? In my opinion, workspaces are a combination of either analog or digital enablers, which create four types of workspaces. The quadrant shows the workspace where the tasks are being performed and the tools that are used. Let's start with the analog analog. The analog analog office is an office in which you can literally touch everything. The business is physically there. From the desk where the employee sits to the paper and the filing cabinets that proves the very existence of the analog corporation. The hierarchy of the company can be read in the layout of the office. The newly hired staff sit close to the door, the managers at the end of a row and close to the window. The aim is to move up the corporate ladder towards becoming senior executives. The advancement of IT and the digital disrupted this mindset, where the analog analog office grew organically and almost necessitated a hierarchy as a justification for its existence, the digital companies grow fast. With their hectic expansion comes an often flatter organization. It is well known that Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook sits on a normal desk amongst his employees in the open office. The integration of the digital into the office generates a work environment in which desks can be shared as people throughout the day will be on the move in meetings or working at clients' offices. The digital thus naturally expresses itself in a more flexible office layout. But there is still a heavy emphasis on the physicality of the office as the social factor of not only bringing people together in one place but also as a center for learning and personal growth. This brings us to today's situation where due to the COVID-19 the analog digital is reversed. Social distancing has enforced staff to stay away from the office and work from home. Yes, the home is still a physical entity, but it puts the analog digital enablers upside down. As now, in the digital analog environment, the emphasis is on the digital, the communication tools and team sharing software that has already been used in the analog digital space is now the main tool. When you speak to a colleague, you do it through the digital, not in person anymore. Even before COVID-19, workers spent up to eight hours a day staring at the screen, writing reports, making presentations, drawings, or whatever their tasks are. During their breaks or after work, we spend more time gazing apathically at screens, checking out videos or streams of celebrities cooking, musicians demonstrating their favorite instruments or puppies falling off a couch. We spend more and more of our time in the digital. In the online games that we play, we move from a passive viewer to the avatar characters who go on quests and adventures. In the digital digital quadrant, all the actions are in the digital realm. So in conclusion, the difference in, for example, communications between analog digital and digital analog is significant. And the question will be, what will happen post COVID-19? So far, each of the creative solutions that are being brought forward are all focusing in trying to reverse the digital analog back to the analog digital. It might as well be with the easing of restrictions that in August we are back to the same situation as we were in March this year. So what shall we do if we can't find a vaccine against COVID-19? In that case, is our world going to be one in which we, like digital characters in a game, work in a completely digital environment? Will we soon move into this digital world in which our digital selves, our avatars, will work? communicate without having to leave the bubble of our homes. Is this going to be our future? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.